Tiffany started biking to the park traveling 8 miles per hour. After some time, the bike got a flat, so Tiffany walked the rest of the way, traveling 3 miles per hour. If the total trip to the park took 9 hours and it was 52 miles away, how long did Tiffany travel at each speed? So I'm going to start with a uh, table. And uh, in our table, we're going to do um, the formula. So it's going to be rate times time equals distance. And we're talking about two scenarios, um, some where she's biking and some where she is walking. Alright, so it tells us um, that she was doing 8 miles per hour um, on her bike for some time, we're not sure how long. And uh, then when she was walking, she was doing 3 miles per hour. Um, the total trip, so we're going to need a total here. Total trip took 9 hours. Um, and it was 52 miles away, so that's a total distance. <clears throat> so we don't know how long she biked, so we're just going to call that T. Um, but however many hours that was, we can subtract it from the total amount of hours, 9. So 9 minus T would be uh, how long she walked. Um, so for instance, if she biked for 4 hours, then she must have walked for 5. So you just subtract whatever that number is from 9. Uh, but we don't know what it is, so we're just going to call it T. So to get distance, you multiply uh, the 8 and the T together. So we get 8T. And we multiply these two together, and that's 3 times 9 minus t. And this last column is our equation. Um, we're going to add these two up, these two rows, to get the last column. <clears throat> so we'll squish that up. So what we have is 8t plus 3 times 9 minus t equals 52. So that's 8t plus 27 minus 3t equals 52. Combining like terms, we get 5t plus 27 is 52. We want to subtract 27 from both sides. So we have 5t is equal to 12. That's 5, 4, 45, I believe. No, 25. Um, and then divide by 5, and we get t equals 5. So that means that she biked for 5 hours, the 8 miles per hour, and um, 9 minus that would be 4, so she did 4 hours of the walking.